My name is Archibald Chesterfield III. I'm a YouTube entertainer and celebrity. And I'd like to thank you for watching this video. Hello, Paul Pluter, Paul Pluter channel, and also the Archie Luxury channel. Remember, like, subscribe, and tell your fuckhead friends. And remember, if you buy your views, buy your subscribers, it doesn't count. Look in the description for 10 ways you can keep me full-time on YouTube. Now, today, I want to answer a question. This is... I want to... I want to fucking answer this email that's come in, and the moral of the story is stay away from fucking shitters. And, uh, this is Mason. Archie, I'm sending you PayPal payment for your advice. I have a Swiss watch, international watch, shown, shown below. I really like the watch despite it being a shitter. It was a wedding gift from my wife, so don't expect to be selling it off. One watchmaker refused to work on it, saying it was too much work. He advised I send it to the maker for repair. SWI is no longer in business. I sent it to another company for an estimate. It uses an ETA 2892 with Dubus Depraz 9000 movement and was manufactured by the old line Swiss company Armand Nicolette for SWI. Spending almost 800 bucks for repairs seems more like more than I would to, to like to spend considering that it's about the second hand value of the watch. Do the repair costs listed seem reasonable? Do you have any suggestions? I contacted Jewelers on Times and they wanted me to send it to them and I have them in the details of what needs to be done. Shipping my watch all over the country is getting really annoying. Your thoughts on the matter would be appreciated. And he's, he's got a quote here for 771 US dollars. And it's, it's really quite fucked. Overhaul, seal gaskets, tune up. Uh, fuck, what can you say here? All I can say is you can't polish a turd. I mean, this tells you why you should stay away from fucking shitters. If this isn't, if this isn't a classic case of shitter, 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 I don't know what is. And uh, I got to tell you, this Swiss Watch International sounds like IWC. It's just an absolute piece of shit. It's just fucking foul, pugnant garbage. That's what this watch is. It's using an ETA machine. And it's it looks like it's probably, possibly a triple date. It's got day, month, and, and date. And it's got moon phase. It's automatic. Fuck me dead. How do people... Why do people buy this shit? absolute so this is a piece of fucking dog turd and the problem is he's saying to me the repair cost is uh the same as what the watch is worth no 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 the watch is worth <coughs> the watch is worth a hundred bucks it's worth way less than the service costs um it's real fucking pugnant shit. That's what it is. And, I mean, people buy these fucking pieces of garbage. Absolutely no value. Absolutely no nothing. This is absolute trash. That's what it is. This watch is absolute trash. And, uh, personally, I'd just be putting it in the drawer. This is why you don't buy shitter wristwatches. Because... They're just not worth repairing. The cost of the service here, I mean, this is quite a complicated, a triple date, automatic, day, date, triple date, moon phase. That's a quite a complicated fucking uh, piece there. This is a nightmare to service, an absolute fucking nightmare. And uh, all I can say is fucking avoid it like the plague. Avoid this watch like the fucking plague. Many, a couple years ago, I remember I had Nick in Perth was saying to me, should he buy this Frederick Constantine, which is a annual calendar? And I said, no, don't fucking touch it. Well, Nick, Nick in Perth 
This is the fucking reason you don't touch that garbage because when it needs service or repair, it's mega bucks to fix and the watch is still a piece of fucking shit. And I, oh, I, I can see absolutely no value with this watch at all. It's a no-name piece of garbage. Uh, it's not even cool. It kind of, it tries to look extremely expensive. It tries to look like a paddock or a Vacheron. It tries to be, you know, it has that look to it. It's an absolute piece of fucking shit. That's what it is. And this is the problem. His, uh, his fiance now his wife, bought this piece of shit. I don't know what the fuck she was thinking when she bought this. And it's just, honestly, it's not worth repairing. It is not worth repairing at all. Just put it in the fucking drawer. That's what you, um, that's what I would do. And, uh, look, let's be honest there, Nick. I don't want to be, sorry, this is someone else. It's not Nick. Let's be completely honest there. Most marriages end in divorce. Okay. How long have you been married? Um, is, is the marriage doing well? How is it going? Because let's be honest there. In 10 years time, will you still be with this woman? That's what you need to ask yourself. And uh, this shit of watch isn't going to make an ounce of fucking different. A difference. This is not going to make any fucking difference. Personally, I wouldn't be investing. I wouldn't be investing anything into this piece of shit. Absolute garbage. No name. Generic fucking shit. ETA. Badly ugly design case. <laughs> ugly movement. I mean, fuck me dead. Why put a display back on a complete fucking turd? I mean, this is this is just everything is fucking wrong with this piece of shit. Everything is fucking wrong with it. It's an absolute turd of a wristwatch. This is nothing special at all. This is just garbage. Absolute garbage. And it's a limited edition, 64 of 500. I wonder how many other fuckers are, are left with this ugly fucking piece of shit as well. But, you know, it's just an ugly fucking watch. Ugly, nasty piece of shit. Ugly nasty vicious this is why you don't buy this generic crap because this is why you don't buy generic shitter brand complicated watches because when something goes wrong fuck me dead no bastard where are you going to get uh okay this eta yes i understand that but <laughs> this is an absolute piece of shit eight hundred dollars for repairs fuck fuck I mean, what an absolute dog turd. What an absolute dog turd. And uh, there's nothing good I can say about this watch here. I mean, seriously, this is an absolute fucking travesty. An absolute travesty. Don't spend anything on it. Put it in the drawer. Keep the watch as a souvenir. And this is what happens if you buy shitter watches. Eventually, they'll need service. And they aren't worth repairing. That is the honest truth. I'm Archie Luxury. Tell me what you fuckers think of that. Nice one, Archie. Good to see the shitters on your program. We specialize in the repair of Rolex and Patek Philippe watches. We've been doing the same thing for more than 25 years. We have a Rolex technician certified by Rolex who actually used to work for the company for many years, like if we do in the work on the factory. We completely disassemble the watch and we put it to work, like brand new condition. When you get the pre-owned watch, it's like if you're getting a brand new unit. The only difference is the money.